Bonjour, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see you today for another perfume video. And for the subscribers here, I'm a listener of you every week. She classy, iconic perfume. I also do lifestyle, beauty, fashion videos. So if you like this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget also to check my over video. And today's video is about how to smell good all the time all the day you know if you follow this channel that i'm so into perfume i love to smell good my life is about perfume i love to smell good when i wake up I love to smell good when i work i love to smell good when i go to bed so in this video i'm going to give you all my tips all my secrets to make sure that you're gonna smell good all the time my first tips is a little secret i got from the granddaughter of estee lauder i read that in a french magazine so my first tip will be to spray some perfume some of your favorite perfume on your air brush so i love you know air spray i love also the feeling of you know fresh hair when you go out from the hairdresser you always have this very good feeling of fresh air and of course your hair smells so good you know with a shampoo and all the products the hairdresser apply on her hair i love this feeling of fresh air so this is a tip i read in a french magazine uh, it's from the granddaughter of estee lauder erin lauder so her grandmother advised her to spray some perfume on the airbrush and after that to brush your air so why does she recommend to put to spray you know the perfume on the airbrush and not directly on the air it's because there is alcohol into the perfume and can really damage your air or make it drier so she recommends to do directly on the airbrush and after to brush her air i love these little tips i found it very very interesting and I do that actually. I do that pretty much every day. I spray some of my favorite perfume into my airbrush. I spray my favorite perfume on my airbrush, on my Masson Pearson hairbrush, the best hairbrush in the world, by the way. I think this one is like 10 years old and I love it. It makes my, also my hair so soft, so silky. The other tips will be also to buy some of the air mist or perfumes air mist uh, my favorite one are miss your the miss your air mist i think this is a generic very generic uh, perfume but it works it works very well and i love this smell it smells very much like the rose the peony the pinky uh, peony the other one will be the broom uh, broom pour cheveux by l'occitane very interesting one also i think it's very very soft uh, very light also it's not like a huge uh, heavy perfume and my favorite one will be chanel number no. five air mist i think this is the best air mist it smells so so good and of course it smells the chanel number no. five the second tips will be to apply some body lotion or moisturizer on your body before applying any fragrances why is that first if you apply a perfumed body lotion you're gonna make your perfume stronger every time i apply some body perfume body lotion it makes really my perfume more long lasting more intense and it's also all over my skin so it's very pleasant and i don't know there's like a huge cloud of perfume and i know i know it's much more intense much more long lasting so by applying some body lotion some perfumed uh, body lotion it avoids your perfume to be gone in just a few hours my other tips it's also because body lotion or moisturizer also have the property of the benefit to retain to retain the fragrance to retain to capture the fragrance and to capture also the scent of your perfume so what i do most of the time i match my perfume with the same body lotion if your perfume comes with a body lotion you can also buy the body lotion for example for durissimo because this is my signature perfume 
I use the Lily Ave Valley Body Lotion from Woods of Windsor. When I wear, for example, Miss Dior Sherry, I also use the body lotion or the oil uh, lotion. For Chanel number no. 5, for example, I also use the body cream. So, you know, I try to match every time my body lotion with my perfume. And sometimes I also applied a neutral basic without any perfume body lotion and it works also very well. Okay, my third tips, it's a little secret actually. I use a perfumed laundry, okay? I don't use a regular wash machine laundry. I use a perfume one or sometimes I also add rose essential oil or different fragrances to make it more intense. I love this fresh feeling into the clothes. I love also to smell perfume in my clothes. So sometimes I also spray perfume on my clothes also but i love i love the fact that when you wash your clothes you can smell you can have also this very soft delicate fragrance what i do is i add into my wash machine some essential oil or some rose water i spray perfume on my clothes i add also the chanel number no. five soap into my Closet. I also use, of course, delicate rose water into my iron. So when I iron my clothes, you can really smell it. It's beautiful. It makes my clothes smelling so good. So don't use a perfume into your iron because there is alcohol and it can really damage your iron. Use instead some floral uh, water or some aromatic uh, water. You can use also some perfume, special perfume for clothes. I can give, give you some name. There are perfumes out there specially designed for clothes. The best one are the Eau de Cashmere by Guerlain. I love this one. They also have an Eau de Lis uh, by Guerlain and you can also spray perfume into your pillow. I love Guerlain. They have a very, very good perfume. And this one is delicate. It's very flowery. There's also Eau Pluriel by Diptyque. Beautiful one. Beautiful. It's greener. I'm gonna say sheep greener. There's also the spray Lino by Jo Malan. But these perfumes are not very intense, okay? They're more like eau de toilette, eau de cologne, but specially designed for clothes. My fourth tip, of course, is to use a perfume soap or a perfume shower gel. This is the first step into my perfume routine and I know when I use a perfume soap or a perfume shower gel I already smell very good before applying my perfume. Okay it's less intense than the perfume but usually it makes it more long lasting also and I know it makes everything I apply after that much more intense. My favorite one are of course the soap from Chanel number no. 5. So Chanel number no. 5 soap I love this one. It's very, very intense, very powdery, and it makes also my Chanel perfume more intense. I love to step out from this shower. I already smell this very delicate Chanel number no. 5. I love it. I also love the Woods of Windsor collection. They have Lily of the Valley Rose. It's very, very nice. I'm gonna say it's more for everyday use. But the shower gel and the soap are very good. They smell good and they're pretty much intense. I love also Roger Galet collection also. They have different fragrances, but it smells so, so good and it's very intense. I'm very surprised, it's very intense, very long lasting. And most of the time, every time I love a perfume, I try to find, you know, the shower gel. Say Miyake, for example, I love this one. They also uh, have the shower gel. So I try every time I can to match my perfume with the shower gel. Okay, one of the last tips is, of course, to apply perfume but you have to apply perfume correctly to make sure that it's gonna be intense and long lasting. I have some tips for you to how apply the perfume. So there are different ways to apply the perfume correctly but my best advice is to apply the perfume in the warm and pulse 
area so this area are best to apply the perfume they are pulse and warm area so usually it's beyond the hairs the neck here you know on the side of my neck of the decolletage they are intimate area but if someone come close to you is gonna smell instantly the perfume so very very good area my other tips will be also to apply your perfume into your clothes so usually before going out i apply my perfume everywhere on my clothes sometimes also on my scarf on my coat also and my last tips it's a tips i read and it's coming from thierry mugler you know the very famous <laughs> fashion designer is tips is to spray the perfume and after step in into this cloud of perfume so you spray the perfume into the hair a lot of spray actually and after you step into the uh, cloud of the perfume so it's very interesting and it's supposed to make your perfume also more intense and more long lasting so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video about my best tips my best secrets to how smell good all the time don't forget to watch my other videos i also do lifestyle fashion beauty and perfume videos don't forget to subscribe to this channel and i see you very soon for another video bye